what do you think of uh what would you think of the pump henry uh pump check hey this uh channel is coming in is going to be talking about we're going to do macro meals uh, i'm going to be posting recipes on the tiktok uh youtube shorts instagram facebook stuff like that working out like kind of like podcast type stuff it's going to be kind of cool this youtube portion is mainly going to be for vlogs some sit down episodes and items like that we're going to probably shoot for like 30 35 40 minutes probably closer to the 30 minute type areas we're going to shoot for the vlog type item though if you want to see like my other items i'm going to be doing like reels on tiktok instagram facebook as i said before so this is my story um i am Kokrastowski and i am 22 i'll be turning 23 in july and i'm not going to go into detail a whole lot but i weighed 325 pounds about two and a half years ago and it really made me realize that like I need to do something about this because this is not good. A big portion of it was just knowing that it wasn't good for my health and that this isn't the life that I wanted to live. So I decided I'm going to do something about it and I put everything, I just, I give it my all and I flipped a switch in my head and I started on keto. It didn't work for me. Yeah, I lost 30 pounds in six months. But as soon as I got off of it, I was eating at such a low calorie amount that whenever I got back on track, I gained it back. And then I was back to three, 320, 325, that area. So, I mean, the only way to lose weight is to be in a calorie deficit. Now, whether you're going for bodybuilding or just to get into better shape or lose weight in, in period, I mean... You're going to want to have protein, and you want to shoot for 0.8 to a gram per pound of body weight, gold body weight. So, in my case, at first, I wanted to get to 250. I mean, that was going to be a big stretch for me. I didn't think I could hit it. Buddy, uh, helped me get on track, figure out what I needed to do, and how to get in a deficit. Found that out, and I went from there. Started on the journey, and uh, been, on, been there. I mean, I'm two years in. I'm sitting at 245. I just got back from vacation a little bit about a month ago, so I'm kind of getting back into the pace a little bit, but I sat at maintenance for a little bit. I'm making this to document. Yeah, I'm not making this to really do anything. I work Wednesday through Saturday, so I want to have something that I can do the other part of Sunday, to Monday, Tuesday. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do YouTube. Maybe it'll get somewhere. I don't know. If it does, great, cool, whatever. But it's going to be with me, mainly, my younger brother, Henry. You guys will meet him in this video. We did like a short little vlog a little bit this morning after the gym. So we're not gonna really going to be doing any in the gym content, but it's going to be mainly like just everything else about it. Um, my buddy Jaden, he'll be in them as well. He'll be in the video. And uh, yeah, let's see what this can bring. I am going to talk a little bit about what I did today. Today, I woke up and I made me some protein pancakes, some turkey sausage, and some yogurt. Um, breakfast was pretty pretty lean, a good amount of protein, well, really good amount of protein. That hung me over for a little bit, just because the pancakes were more of like a whole grain thing, so they kind of hold, hold you over a little bit more. And then I met my little brother and my buddy Jaden for the gym. Uh, we went and did push day. So a lot of that consisted of like chest, shoulders, tries, and yeah, we actually had one guy uh, at our gym um, come up to us. I had no idea who he was. He was super cool and told us a new, like, like his way of doing lateral raises with the cable. Those are super insightful, and I really appreciated that. It was super cool. After that, what we did, we went. I went back home. I started, I finished up editing my first uh, meal prep recipe that I did. It's uh, called dog food. <laughs> um, it's just beef or deer meat and rice. It's literally the most basic thing ever. It's phenomenal, though. I mean, you can eat that just day by day by day by day. One of the things I'm going to be doing, though, is making recipes and posting them. Maybe a cookbook someday. I don't know. We'll see. See what happens. So this creation thing is new to me. Uh, bear with me. One thing is, like, super crazy is how easy it is for people to, like, be able to do it. Like, you can just get got a smartphone. You just start. 
I'm not saying this is easy by any means. I don't know. This is my first time, so I'm not looking to make anything off of it. I'm just wanting to learn, have fun, make some valuable use out of my spare time. I work Wednesday through Saturday, and then Sunday evening, usually it's like meal prep Sundays. I do my laundry, stuff like that, whatever. Monday, Tuesday, on my days off, I do whatever as well on that. I'm gonna be doing vlogs with that too. It is currently 10 to four. I may go for a walk later. You gotta make sure to get your steps in. But like Mincer says, to make sure it's at a conversational pace for any type of cardiovascular activity. Back to push day. We did push day today. I think I said pull. I meant to say push. If I said pull, whatever, but I meant to say push. We hit dumbbell press, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, I do prefer incline over that just because you're hitting more of like upper chest area. After that, we go over to shoulder press and we use a we use a matrix machine that we have over there, which is super nice. I like the way it feels. I like the way it rides. I'm in a deficit right now, so I'm gonna be honest. I'm going down and wait a little bit just because like I'm on lower calories than what I was. That's okay. I mean, I'm still achieving failure in popular stimulus. Next, we hit cable flies, or we, we use a pec deck and just rip them out. We usually go two sets to failure, and we hit eight to 12 repetitions is what we do. From there, you just wanna make sure you burn out. Like, you wanna make sure you're at failure. I always like to introduce a couple partials, or at least some, like, long lengthened partials. Then after that, we went into lateral raises. We learned a new way to do lateral raises, which is really cool, which we may start implementing into our day-to-day -day, uh, on push day. And on our Fridays, where we do like an upper body routine, and we do lateral raises then, because you gotta, you gotta get that mid-belt. Anyways, on after that, we went in and did some tricep work, where we did some tricep pushdowns, and then we also did some overhead tricep extensions. I tried it a new way, but I didn't like it, so we ended up just going back to our old way, which was just going over over the head, you know. Those are really good for the long head of the tricep, which is where the mass is from, I believe, I think. I don't know, um, I didn't go to school for this stuff. So anyways, then you also got like a short head, which is what causes the peak that you get on your tricep, like the bump, that comes from your short head. You got two heads on those and post-workout is here. What do you think of, uh, what do you think of the pump, Henry? Uh, pump check? What about it? Hold it up there on the... Yeah, but my arm gets tired. So, uh, what would you think of today, Henry? You got any optional things to say? I felt like I did better than what I usually do in the morning. Yeah. The um, tricep pushdowns were really getting me today. Those were tough. I, I, I didn't really like whenever we did the sit-down ones. I'm gonna be honest. The sit-down ones, I felt like it was like more like me breaking my shoulders than yeah. working on them. Like, I feel like it was a good idea, but it wasn't really uh, executed correctly. Yeah. I don't think that's a very optimal. Like, the thing is, like, when you're sitting down and you're doing it from, like, that perspective, and you push up, and then you when you go back down, it's, like, really putting a lot of tension on the back of your shoulder blade. I so, agree. it really, like, it hurts. Yeah. So, I think it's better, like, next week we start doing them standing up. Just like how we normally do them? How we normally do them, because I feel like we get a lot more than just breaking our shoulders. Yeah, I agree. So I think we got proper musculature stimulus achieved, though. Huh? <laughs> I think the, uh, the stimulus that was required oh. to... Stimmy. Pop and stimmies. Pop and stimmies. No, nah, but I understand you, man. So, if you don't know, I'm Colt. Um, I'm Henry. And, yeah, this is going to be our little thing. We're going to do, like little vlogs and stuff like that we uh include on the videos like ride home from the gym or whatever we may do some like getting ready for the gym like on the way there type things uh there won't be any video of us like actually in the gym maybe but, pictures uh, maybe pictures yeah we may insert like some clips or something but we're not gonna have a like a, a production set up by any means or anything like that yeah i mean this is just gonna be this is more or less just like a project to have some fun and fill up some time since i'm off on mondays and tuesdays from work so um, not trying to get big or anything like that, but just here to have some fun. And to lose weight. That's the main goal. And get big at the same time. Mm -hmm. Right now, so my sophomore year, I started getting into it, and then he really pushed me in and said, hey, 
we need to go to the gym because I think it'll help out a lot. And I'm this is like my third year going to the gym and like we've both have like crazily changed our like physical and mental health with oh, everything. Because yeah. I mean we've how many, how much weight have you lost so far? Starting weight was three twenty five, I'm two forty five right now. Two forty five, so you've lost a good amount. My weight sophomore year was two eighty but that was with no muscle and now my weight is at like 230 but I still I've gained a lot of muscle over the years just by eating protein and uh, keeping up with calorie count and stuff like that but um but you yeah. to track your macros track your macros track everything you look at and I know it's a pain in the butt trust me I struggled for a long time he always told me to track my stuff down and some days like I didn't track my stuff down, and it was a real pain, but not optimal. Not optimal. But um, basically, the more you track your stuff down, and the more that you're actually active with it, it'll get better, and you'll feel a lot better in life. You won't feel as tired, and you'll feel more active and like able to do stuff. And the other thing is being more positive about your like your physical self. It helps out a lot. And if you ever do get down like stuff like this. You just got to keep thinking to yourself that you're doing this for a good reason. And that reason is that you want to change by yourself. And you want to see how far you can go. And that's the main that's the main goal for the game. It's a big kicker right there. Big kicker. But, um, yeah, well, uh, throughout this time, I think that uh, we're just going to be posting content like this. Uh, talking about our weight loss journey. Uh, and yeah, probably we'll some jokes, too. Doing that, I'm going to be... Uh... If you follow my TikTok, uh, Colt C H R S K I is the handle. Um, I'll be posting like like gym memes and uh, motivational reels or top TikToks, I guess I should say. Um, they're, they're, they're both and TikToks then, uh, and reels. I'm also going to be doing uh, today is Eclipse Day. Currently, um, it's April 8th. So if you're seeing this later, 2024. Um, yeah. Um, today will be the first day that I uh, start rolling out um, macro friendly macro friendly recipes that I'm going to be posting so stay tuned for that and uh yeah I mean it's going to be fun we're not we're just doing this for fun taking up some it's taking up some time and hanging out you know so and if you guys have any questions about how to continue on like with your weight loss journey or how to keep track stuff and you have any questions for us just comment down and we'll try to answer as soon as possible but uh just remember that you're not the only one out there that other people are here to help. That's right. So, I think that's really well said. Um, is there anything else we'd like to talk about? I think we're just hanging out. We'll keep it rolling. So, but yeah, this is the stuff that we'll try to be doing. Um, hope you guys like it all. Uh, I know me, me and Colt like the gym a lot. Uh, oh yeah. It's changed just a lot. And, even though it seems boring sometimes, it is really fun. Never boring. Never boring. I mean, you might get tired, but it's just... I mean, you're tired, go to the gym. You had a bad day, go to the gym. Have a good day, go to the gym. It's Sad, like, go to the gym. It's like therapy almost. It's exactly what it is. So. So. Alright, guys. See, Talk. You. See you later. See you guys.